Hey guys, welcome back to Yesterland Toys. I'm Neil, the toys that made sense. On today's episode, we're going over more or less an unboxing kind of video or the items that I've picked up over the last few weeks. So this isn't gonna be your traditional video where I'm, you know, reviewing a toy and then we're in my little studio and then I go over the items that uh, I bought or whatever the video entails. We're not doing that today. Today, we're just going over the items that I have picked up over the last few weeks or um, that I've had for a few weeks already and um, just haven't had a chance to get around to shooting a video or doing a review on that action figure. And so I just thought it would be fun to just take all the items that I've picked up over the last few weeks and um, just kind of go over them one by one, kind of like an unboxing video. So you know what to do, sit back, grab your favorite beverage and snack, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, like I mentioned, welcome back. So let's get right into it. I don't want to take too much of your time. I kind of want to get through this pretty quick. Maybe do a little few second recap or overview of each of these items, and then we're going to move on to the next item. So up first is my Skeleton Warriors uh, Masters of the Universe Origins 2-pack. The Skeleton Warriors here. Glows in the dark, evil arm, um, army of Skele uh, Skeletor. So these are those guys that we saw at Comic-Con. Uh, that were down in the playset area of the Eternia that was announced, and we knew we were going to get them, and they're just now starting to be shipped uh, across the U.S., and really, really cool item here, man. If you get a chance to pick one of these up, I strongly recommend doing it. The graphic work on it is just amazing. Um, we got the palace guards fighting these evil skeleton uh, warriors. They do appear to glow in the dark. I love all the vibrant colors that are going on here and the weapons accessories and just the detail of each of these figures. So if you get a chance, definitely pick one of these up because this is something that you're definitely going to want to um, add to your collection, your Motu collection. And I just love how Skeletor is up there on top of that rock uh, commanding the, the army and just seeing in between the gaps of those uh, skeleton between the the lower half and the upper half of their bodies, how it almost looks like it's kind of uh, levitating, if you will, but we know the uh, the rib cage there and the spine are holding them up and then just them coming out of the ground. So really, really cool concept, really stoked to have this in, in my collection and I just can't wait to get it up there with the rest of the stuff. So that's that. Moving on, I got this item a few weeks ago, picked them up and I thought, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do a review on him. Not that because he's not a, a cool figure or anything like that. It's just that he was a figure that um, I don't think was gonna get enough attention to begin with in the community. There's several reviews on him and what people think and what they don't think. But I picked up uh, right here, Mr. G.I. Joe, Craig Rock and Roll McConnell. So this is really, really cool. Rock and Roll is a good, uh, figure that I remember as a kid and I couldn't wait to pick him up and get him into my classifieds collection. So I got him a few weeks ago. So looking to um, get into him and check him out. I also picked up a uh, Cobra Eel. This was one of the Amazon uh, early uh, pre-orders that, that finally came. I only got one. So I'm looking forward to digging into him and seeing what he has to offer. So yeah, pretty stoked about that. And then moving along, we've got Fangor, that Mattel Creations exclusive. So I'll go ahead and open that up now because I've been dying to get into this guy and check him out. Looks pretty cool. We got that standard box, you know, box art uh, drawing, black drawing on the on the card. Uh, I noticed this time they didn't put that little insert to protect the top of the bubble or the uh, top of the card on this one. They don't have it going on here. Uh, but we do get the uh, blister slide off pack, if you will, uh, the protection pack there, like we did with uh, Sunman, uh, the way they put it in that uh, in that packaging. So we get that, and so this is so you can pull them out and put them back together. Looking at them, first impressions. Um, 
really friggin' cool looking. I like that the mini comic is not attached to that back of that card, so it's not gonna, you know, you can shift it around, you can pull it out, you can read it, and you can put it back. Fanger uh, just looks amazing, man. I'm digging that dang head sculpt. Really freaking cool. We get his teeth and all that down here. So if you haven't picked him up, unfortunately, I think you're going to only be able to pick him up on the secondary market. It kind of sucks. I know what they're going for. I've seen him hit um, as high as like $115, $120, which is absolutely absurd. Um, hopefully these guys will come down. And, and I'll do time, but at the end of the day, that's the secondary market and, and it sucks. But uh, he's a great looking character and glad to add him to the collection. We see we're getting that snake uh, female there that is going to be coming out on the 12th. So remember folks, be sure to get your, uh, uh, your clock set and your alarms ready because she goes live on the 12th. And I believe it's 9 Pacific. So for me here, it's gonna be 11 a.m. and then obviously 12 Eastern. So we see Hero here on the cover, or is that, uh, yeah, I think that's Hero. And then um, we get that snake uh, men play set there in the back. And then we got Fanger just jumping right out there. I mean, really good uh, artwork. Probably one of the best cards and just the overall sculpt of this guy. This guy is really, really cool looking. So really stoked. Uh, get him into my collection. And then last but not least, right here from Valiver's headquarters, from the Action Force team and Bobby Valla himself, I have got one of the Horde. Well, let me get it open here. Double check just to make sure it is what it is. That's right, there he is. It is a Swarm Horde. So these uh, re were released uh, initially at, um, uh, what was it, uh, the Comic Con up there in Ohio, I believe it was, uh, Power Con, which is a He-Man um, con type themed uh, event. But now from what I understand, it's pretty much flooded with all different uh, resellers and toy sellers and all kinds of stuff going on. But Bobby initially were was selling these there and then he allowed these to go to his uh, website and I was fortunate to pick one up a couple days later and uh, purchase it and get it shipped here. So really stoked to get him out and check him out and see what he looks like. So yeah guys, these are my pickups for the last couple weeks and uh, I'll see you here in a second because I'm going to have the majority of these out and we'll kind of look at them real quick. But um, except for Fangor, Fangor's going to stay in his package as I keep all my Motu stuff. So I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, here you go. We got them out. So yeah, really digging my pickups here. Wish I could have done a review on each of these. I know I could have, and that's a lot of videos to go into, but I thought this one would be kind of neat to just kind of intertwine and intermingle all the different little pickups and uh, everything that I got over the last couple of weeks. Plus it shows you just a good variety of actually what I do collect. Um, clearly this is not all of it. I collect a lot of other things, but these were some pickups that I definitely picked up within the last few weeks and really just didn't have a chance to get into them and and uh, take the time that I really wanted to. So I thought, let's just do an overall video of um, everything that I got. So really pretty stoked with um, uh, rock and roll here. I will say though, rock and roll, real quick, quick over cap overview, real flimsy feeling, real light. Uh, he was His joints are very, very loose. For some collectors, that might be good. For some, that might be bad. I noticed his accessories though, feel real, real cheap. Not gonna lie, this uh, M60 or whatever we're calling this, this thing is crap, man. These these um, stands for the rifle are flimsy. The handle on top is so flimsy and it's gonna snap over time. I'm gonna obviously have to change this out. I do like the accent that we do get the small uh, band of ammo that we can put into the ammo can. Um, other than that, I mean, 
it's it's kind of the accessories kind of cheesy as far as the helmet i think that's really cool check that out now you can see it says hang 10 on there i like that little accent and the drawing on it i do like that the ear protection is molded in we're not worrying about two extra pieces like we do get with the action force stuff those can potentially have a tendency to get lost over time got some accent here of a little bag on the back of the helmet and we got beautiful tat work i'll the uh, tattoo work on the arm is cool. And also on the arms over here, we got like a skull in there. Really, really cool. I do like that he's throwing up the metal sign. And if you don't want to use that hand, you get the exact same tattoo on a closed hand for like holding a rifle or a gun and all that. So overall, I give this character a really good rating, but he is actually, when it comes to his accessories, pretty darn flimsy. They're, they're, they're junk. There's no doubt. And then moving into the Cobra Eel here. Very, very impressed. This Cobra Eel looks very long and sleek and uh, just has that really cool vintage G.I. Joe vibe going on to it. Um, I really love the touch that the mask is one piece and we don't have to remove the head. We can just slip it right over the head. I like that. Sometimes having double heads, triple heads, whatever gets kind of in the way. So this is a very nice feature that that just slips on and we're not dealing with two different heads. Love the oxygen tank set up here and the design and the, um, the hose work going into it. I will say this is probably one of the best solid backpacks on any of these figures, including Action Force, that I have seen that just fits really nice and tight and it's not loose and not popping off due to plastic or, you know, the, the peg shifting around. Very, very solid backpack here, or uh, um, air tanks going on here, so I really like it. And it kind of almost has that, paying that homage, and I'll kind of show you here real quick, to like how the curvature of backpacks and how they kind of used to look back in the in the 80s. So really cool design there. We get the standard flippers. We get a knife down here that's accented with the, the red and we get the spear gun. So overall, very, very happy with the eel. Looks excellent. And then moving into our swarm horde from Action Force. Uh, Beautiful character. I'm glad I picked him up. I'm glad I get to add him to the uh, the, the swarm now as an, another uh, piece. You get several different accessories. I left the majority of the other hands in the uh, in the uh, in the packaging because I'm really not going to use them for display purposes and what I'm going to do. But he comes with a plethora of accessories. Obviously, this is a figure that was $31.99, plus Bobby threw in the gear pack for an additional uh, $15 or $14. All of it came together around $45.99. It was a great option for the fans, so you're not having to pick and choose and worry about if you're going to be able to get them to accessorize them. He threw it all into one package. Got to pay the full price, though, but hey, that's part of it. So very, very cool figure. Loving all the colors. Loving all of it. Great. And I love how it's all accented with these bright silvers and grays. And then we get this kind of two-tone blue color. It kind of maybe looks like the turbine or a flame or something coming out of there. Get the standard firearm that we get with pretty much all the action force. Uh, the rifle, the swarm shield, or in this case, the swarm horde shield. And then the new wing setup and all that. Still has all the same type of um, mechanism where you can close them. They seem to be a little bit more stiffer this time around, which is really cool. Digging the headwork and sculpt on it. Very, very cool looking. So overall, very, very excited to get this figure. You get the stand as always. So guys, let me know what you think. Did you like this video? Did you like the way I did it? Um, kind of going over multiple figures at one time. Hope you did. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. And as always, guys, you can find me here on YouTube and all my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and X. And as always, guys, I'll see you in Yesterland.